My generation has a disease, a very serious, often uncurable affliction through which millions suffer and still millions more in affected friends and family members. Unlike other more visible diseases, the affliction on which I speak today has been too often cast into darkness. We pretend it'll just go away. We don't invest in treating it and researching its root causes. We let its horrific effects exist bottled up in a taboo darkness, never to be addressed and soon to be forgotten. I'm not speaking about rapidly dividing cells or problems with insulin production and utilization. No, no. I'm speaking of something far more prevalent and far more damaging. I'm speaking, of course, of flakiness. All right, that's obviously a garbage joke, and I don't mean to make light of very serious illness. But seriously, every peer I know is a huge fucking flake, and it drives me absolutely insane. It legitimately is a disease for millennials. I won't assume you all know what a flake is, so let me give you an example. You have a great friend named Bob. You enjoy Bob's company, and Bob enjoys yours. Oh, no homo. <laughs> So quite often you call Bob and make plans for some type of social interaction, or he will call you and do the same. The trouble is, when the time comes to participate in said social interaction, your guy Bob does one of two things. He calls you five minutes before the plan is set to be implemented to say, Oh, uh, hey, it's Bob. Listen, man, something came up, but I just can't make it. Or Bob says nothing, and you show up to the agreed-upon meeting place only to stand there idly by for an hour writing texts that say in all caps, Hey, f where the fuck are you? A few days or weeks later, you'll see Bob and say, Hey, Bitch, where the fuck were you? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, so, sorry, man. I just, uh, I just wasn't feeling it, you know? In short, flakes are just unreliable people. People who say they'll do something and then, for whatever reason, just don't. And I, of course, don't mean a one-time thing. Unforeseen circumstances arise, crazy things happen, and sometimes a plan to do something fun just falls apart. It happens. The flake disease this generation has is not the one or two occurrences every so often, though. These flaky people do it habitually, to the point you wonder why you're even friends with this person at all. Flakiness is hugely important to me because it gets at the heart of what's important in any human relationship, family, romantic, or even just purely friendly. Think of the best person in your life, that person that you can count on no matter what. Maybe it's your girlfriend. Maybe it's your main dude bro, Joe. Maybe it's your mom for letting you live in her basement and play video games all day. Mom! Mom! Yeah! Yeah! Skag 3 is talking about me again! Yeah! Uh, yeah! Hey, bring me another Capri Sun! All these people have one thing in common. They mean the words they say. The words that come out of their mouths are used to convey genuine meaning, not to fill dead air. If that person tells you he or she will do something, it absolutely happens without fail barring nuclear apocalypse. That's a real person and a real relationship. But in my generation, I just see that going away. My good friends make plans and bail. Girls I chase make plans and bail. People I trust with my life make plans and bail. And I've asked these flakes in my life, hey, why do you flake so much? Seriously, what's the deal? It's really hard to be friends with such an unreliable person. And the common response I get is, Well, I just don't want to hurt your feelings by saying no. Again, Q McEnroe. You cannot be serious! As a friend, I don't expect people I invite to hang out to say yes every single time I ever ask. I'm enough of an adult to understand people have lives and things don't work out every single time. So hearing, no, I can't do X plan on Y date because of Z conflict is not painful for me. What is painful is the rage experienced from creating a plan, confirming said plan with a friend, doing all the work to implement this plan, and then showing up only to be ditched on. If that's your way of not hurting feelings, try f***ing harder. That's about the most annoying thing possible. Really, my rant comes down to what your dad said. <clears throat> Son, come over here and have a seat with dad. Listen up. A man is only as good as his word. So say what you mean, and mean what you say. Thanks, Dad. Actually, my dad sounds nothing like that, and that person was garbage. So for real, you flaky motherfuckers. Hey! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Show up when you say you will. Give people plenty of notice when you can't. Be cool. Okay? Thanks. Bye!